Chance the Rapper is overhated. What's up? I'm Kayon aka Kayon puts you on and today I'm talking about a very special topic to my heart. Chicago native Chance the Rapper. Um, in recent years, and we all know he dropped the big day. Oh, I love my wife. I love my wife. Ah! Let's go ride a bike with my wife. Ah! My wife's real young. My wife's real small. Let's go to the beach and play with a beach ball. Praise Jesus God and my wife. Let's go to the beach and... Okay, and this was after he had like a three album run that was like top tier, like almost all tens. I think they could all be argued that they were all tens. But then he dropped the big day. And everybody was like, oh, shoot, he's rapping about his wife a lot, he got bad bars, the album sucks, it's dog water, it's the worst album of all time, blah de blah blah And that was, what, like 2017? And here we are in 2024, okay? And I, he's getting a lot of hate still. And it's not even that, I don't even think he's hated anymore necessarily, but nobody's paying attention to him, bro. Nobody, Nobody's paying attention to Chance the Rapper. Nobody's watching what he drops, but I am. I'm the one who's paying attention to what he's dropping, and bro, it has been good back to back. And you're probably wondering, like, why I even, like, thought of this video, like, Chance the Rapper hasn't done anything in a while. Well, he just dropped a song called I Will Be Your. Darling, I will be your guide on some deaf cat for cutie. Let's grab a smoothie, sit back and just laugh. The movie is so plain. The place is gold framed. I'm sipping a gold drink. I'm drinking on my frequent fly miles. It's cold train. The diamonds on my necklace keep doing the soul train. The line in my head keep doing Black Starline Freestyle by Chance the Rapper. He dropped it two days ago. And it, on YouTube, it only has 58,000 views. Okay, and you're going to be like, wow, 58,000 is a lot. Not when you're Chance the Rapper, bro. Like, I feel like he should have, like, 100,000 on this already. Like, easily 100,000, maybe 200,000. Chance the Rapper in his prime would have had, like, 400K off rip, bro. Pre-Big Day, he would have 400K off rip. But, obviously, he hasn't really dropped a project. He's dropped a good amount of freestyles. He dropped Child of God not too long ago, which actually got, like, 4 million views. Um, but that's been, like, a year now. And so we're kind of seeing him drop these like freestyles drop these different things and niggas are still hating okay niggas are not support niggas are not tapped in when he is dropping like great bars bro he's dropping such good bars um i will be yours like like there's so many good bars in there you should go listen if you haven't i'll probably put a snippet in here if possible but bro he has so many good bars back to back to back and it makes me wonder like was the big day that bad? Was the big day that bad that we're, that we're hating on him to this day, right? Because the big day, I understand. I understand, like, lyrically and subject, like, topic. It was not the best album, but I don't think it was, like, garbage, bro. The production on there, in my opinion, was really, really good. Mixing, really, really good. Features, very solid. He had his brother on there. He had some a few other people. And I thought all of them were genuinely very, very solid. And so I was I was taken aback when I saw the kickback. Like I understood like the album wasn't that good, like in terms of his verses, but everybody was acting like the production wasn't even there, like the mixing wasn't there, the features weren't there. And that I I really didn't understand, bro, because I'm like, alright, alright, bro likes his wife. Okay? We we get bro likes his wife. But even still, even if that's the main topic, he could have done that in a song, to be honest. I think that should have been a song. But he made it an album, and, like, yeah, it was, like, very underwhelming. Um, but it was enough to, like, that is, like, known as, like, the album. Or, like, the person that had the high, the f fastest rise had the fastest decline because the album was so bad. And I don't think Chance the Rapper really helped himself either. He kind of, like, just never dropped after that. Like, I don't think he dropped until, like, 2021. I don't think he dropped, like, for, like, three years because the pushback was so bad he fired his managers um his managers even claimed that they told him like not to do this album around when he was getting married um because i would skew like his vision and stuff like that and now we're seeing chance the rapper in africa we're seeing chance the rapper like support artists and we're seeing him do these different avenues outside of rap now and so i think he has more to rap about i think he has more topics more flows he had a song with Vic Mensa, so kind of getting back to his roots. Even with all of that, I feel like the focus and the love is still not there for Chance the Rapper. And I'm 
I really don't understand. Like, I... There's a, a good amount of rappers who have, like, a bad album. I think, like, a rapper who compares, I think, Lil Baby. But even, like, Lil Baby, I think, has had, like, kind of a decline in terms of, like, viewers, like, listeners and things like that. And his quality, I think, has dropped in terms of his, like, whole holistic projects. However, I think if he dropped tomorrow, it's getting more than 58,000 views. It's getting more than... It's getting more love and than Chance the Rapper is. And maybe it's just been so long, and that's why it's, like, not clicking with me. It's because it's been such a long time since Chance the Rapper has really dropped and been popping. And I kind of just miss that era, I think. Um... But I would love to see Chance the Rapper be back on again. I really hope he drops a project soon. I hope he starts getting on features. I think with this freestyle dropping 2024, I think he might actually drop something. And I really think he should. I really think he should. I know he probably got, like, um, a little bit of uh, unmotiv- like demotivated after that project and after, like, that many eyes were judging him then that way. But I think he's a great rapper, bro, and he's, like, so talented. And, like, Acid Rap 10-year anniversary was packed um, in Chicago. Like, he did that performance. And so I think there's definitely, like, a possibility of him making a comeback in rap. I think that's not even, like, a crazy statement to make. We know how good of a rapper he is. He just made one bad project. And I wish people would let him live that down. I wish people didn't hold that album to such a high regard when it was dropping. Like... I mean, that was right after a coloring book, so I can kind of understand, like, the anticipation. Coloring book was so good. Acid Rap was so good. Ten Day was so good. But even still to that point, like, bro, he, he didn't do all that. Like, he he wasn't that bad. Um, nigga, everybody got a bad song or two. Everybody. Chance the Rapper might have been more than a couple of songs, but even still, bro, I don't think it was that bad. I don't think it was that bad. But... That's pretty much my thoughts. Um, Chance the Rapper overhated. Uh, y'all need to chill out on my boy Chance, okay? I live in Chicago now, so I gotta rep. I gotta rep Chance the Rapper. I, I can't go out like that. But, yeah, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, as always, I love you guys and appreciate you guys. Thanks for always supporting. This is kind of the part of the video where I talk about like my channel update, channel vibes, um, what's going on. So, yeah, if you want to stay for that, that's cool. But, yeah, I think recently we've been doing, like, pretty solid on TikTok. We're at, like, 3,600 like, followers, I think. Uh, especially after that video hit, like, 2 mil views. That was huge. So, that's doing good. Um, I have made the Ben Shapiro and Tom McDonald Borders Madigan. And that video has been, like, doing pretty well. I think it's, like, 8,000 views or something. A lot of hate comments. That community, wow, bro, they ride. I thought Nicki Minaj and, like... Taylor Swift fans were like on like on top of it, but shoot, the Tom McDonald Ben Shapiro pipeline is different, bro. You can't even disrespect none of them without getting mad hate comments. But I'm okay with that, bro. I just express my opinion. But yes, yeah, so that's TikTok, YouTube. What is YouTube at? I actually don't know what YouTube is at right now. I haven't checked. YouTube we're at 6:45, so we kind of been chilling around there. I want to try to get that boosted back up. I'm dropping new YouTube videos. Um, three times a week now, we're back on top of the grind, we're back on it, so I'm very excited about that, I'm very excited about that, we're at 645 subs, I want to hit a thousand by like next two months, I think, if I get a thousand, that'd be crazy, that'd be crazy, but I gotta, I gotta get a video like popping for real, I gotta get a few popping videos, um, but yeah, so well, that's, that's the goal, that's the goal we're shooting for. Instagram, pretty steady. I think we're at like 3,900 or 2,900 followers. So, yeah, we dropped a little bit because we hit 3K at some point. Um, but I think after a video blows up, and what I'm kind of learning is like, if a video blows up, a lot of those people are going to leave because they realize they don't really like your content. They like that one video and they're like, all right, bro, like, I'm done seeing you. So, I'm really learning that like, when you blow up, you're going to have people leave, and that's totally normal and okay. Um, and not to really put too much pressure on that. You know what I'm saying? Don't put too much pressure on that. So that's what I'm learning. Um, but yeah, overall content I've been doing good. I've been doing good. Um, trying to get in the process of like figuring out what I want to do work wise until this YouTube and like social media stuff really pops off. So that's where I'm at right now mentally. Mentally, that's what I'm going towards. So, um, you guys can expect like 
bro, when it starts getting hot outside, and maybe even sooner than that, I'm probably going to, like, shift a lot of my content. Um, I want to do more, like, vlog stuff, and I have, like, an aesthetic and type of stuff that I want to do. And I think I'm going to start getting into, like, interviewing very heavily. So I think that is, like, um, the lane that I want to reach into. And I'm going to try to do that in a way that nobody's ever done it. So that's really the plan right now. That is really the plan. And if you could stick with me during that transition, because I'm not sure exactly how that will look, I would really appreciate that and love that. So, um, yeah, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see what happens. I want to try to get an interview up within, like, the next month or two. Hopefully, by the end of February, I have one interview. End of February, that's what I'm really looking towards. Um, so we'll see. That's all, That's on the docket for sure. That's on the list. But as always, man, thank you guys for supporting me. I really always appreciate it. I love you and appreciate you. Be safe. Be smooth.